Link 2012. Anyways. Oh, come on. Uh, that lightning bolt hit right where I was at. That is not a pretty sight to see, but actually, I do want to see it. I want to see it more. Than I just do. I just do. What on earth, dude? No way. Did you guys just see that? Holy smokes. I'm glad I wasn't in that area when it exploded. Oh my. I probably destroyed a chest, too. I know that there's a chest up here, normally. Oh no, and that I, the item in that chest is so cool. Well, we're gonna double check. Actually, I really... Oh good, it's still here. Woof! Damn it, that explosion, that was... That was some... That was some crazy stuff. And here we have Frostbite, which is basically a legendary diamond sword. Except it has crouched forward while using this weapon to push enemies away from Frosty Aura. It's pretty cool. It's got that really cool ability. Now, I use it a lot during testing, but I really want to be able to just kill things quickly. So I'm going to keep this really powerful shovel on me. But oh man, that explosion is something. Got him. That was nice. That's pretty fast. Let's go grab whatever's over here. So first place. We have coming soon. Check back later. We have the tournament token for the walls. Oh yes. I remember those. And then we also had the TNT games. Actually I do want this head. Come on. Remember you having to get tournament tokens to enter uh, the walls, uh, the, the the walls tournament? Blitz survival games. Oh no 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 no! no. I wanted to get that item. Oh, I got it. Good. This area is just gonna be a wasteland once it's, once everything's done exploding. I do want to get Bomberman still. No, there's a skeleton nearby. Alright, we're gonna have to do this. Um, but yeah, you could only enter so many games a day if I remember right for the tournaments. Right? I can't remember. I know they did tournament, they did several tournaments on Hypixel. Some of them turned out better than others. They did a walls one, I know they did a mega walls one. Oh, come on, why isn't this helmet break this head breaking? I'm gonna break it twice. There we go. Finally. There's the head. There we go. We got it. Good. Moving on. Oh, man, that destruction, though. The coincidence, first of all, and then that destruction. Man. It's a wasteland. Thankfully, there's a lot of space around here that mobs can spawn in. And how to put it? Natural spawns. There's, there's space for natural spawns here. Oh boy, though. Progress is slow. I'm getting tired really quickly, man. I want another one of those cupids. <laughs> oh boy. I 
This is command block text room. Which where, where should we go next? Should we go around that way or should we go around that way? Well, actually, let's get up. Let's go up to the portal here. Oh, is this a potion? Is this one I think it is? No, it's a PC potion. I thought it was a speed potion, and I was excited. You can see uh, some of the those patches of fertile solo, soil. That was from me accidentally. What is it? Accidentally keeping the the option on from earlier. You know the option that allows you to turn grass into fertile soil and whatnot. Oh yeah, and I also want to talk about this astronauts uh, astronauts potion. Originally, when astronaut was at And it was absurdly overpowered because people would bring it to deathmatch and then, well, they'd win. Because you can't beat a strength potion. It's just a t your two-hit kill. Um, now, unfortunately, Hypixel never didn't... Hypixel didn't learn from their mistakes. They continued, They actually ended up adding uh, strength to another person later on. They added strength to Pigman in... Uh, whatchamacallit? Ouch. And Mega Walls, and that was also a problem. It was able to easily kill all sorts of things. Oh wow, we have Philosophy Potion, and a Stamina Potion, Cheesy Potion, I'll take it. Cheesy Potion, go, beautiful. And just a test of this stuff. Nothing really in here. Bummer. I thought there might have been something more. Now, of course, that changed with Pigman. I think eventually they decided to give him weakness as well, and then eventually they decided to remove it all together. Uh, the, the, the strength bonus for his skill. He's just too powerful. Right. Now, I, I did light up that spawner because I didn't want to... Uh, make them go extinct, even though I doubt we're going to farm the number. Ouch! Oh, did he drop two coins? Interesting. I think there's a chance to drop coins. Yeah, I think I added a, uh, one that was... Here. There we go. I think I made it possible to drop several coins for some mobs. Alright. Teehee. <laughs> and there's a secret chest in here, which is going to take us forever to get to, sadly. Mwah. Those are my eyes. Oh, please tell me it broke. Meditation, don't need it. Haste, don't need it. Torches, I will take them. Right. If we go in here, it'll actually take us back down here. So it actually is possible to more easily get up here. And this area is pretty secure, I'd say, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Come on. There we go. When they immediately spawn, they're still regular mobs, so it's really easy to kill them. Except for the swarm zombies, because they spawn so fast, I made sure that they immediately got their effects. Oh, there's some... Oh, that's the library. Yeah, we're gonna get to that later. Because that actually spans all the way across here. Right, there, yeah, there are a few places I did want to visit, though. A few secrets that I wanted to make sure that I cross off my list. And the first one is over this way. Oh, they're spawner busters. Okay. We'll get that later. Okay, where is it? Wait, is it not here? It's gotta be here. Remember it here. Yeah, it's over here. 
more on back. There's, a, there's plenty of Herobrine heads here. Um, this, I think, was originally a Herobrine head, but I had to replace it. I think there's one occasion where I uh, killed the Herobrine head when you get close to it to prevent you from getting it. Could theoretically be obtainable, though, with an explosive arrow and a mob that just happened to be there. Right, so yeah, there's two secrets over here. There's one over there and there's one over here. I'll check out this one first. So this is actually a cake cape. Congratulations, you found a pretty room. Unfortunately for you... Oh, sorry. Uh, it, it is not a cake cape. Unfortunately for you, the map developer was too lazy to add any items to this secret. Sad face. Yeah, right. Map developer was too lazy to add any items. I see two spots right here where there's probably items. Yeah, look at that. Bunch of coins. And a enhanced harpoon gun. Oh, this is actually better than most harpoon guns because this has uh, power eight. And over here, there's an ender chest. So, yeah. The map developer did add quite a few items. Mr. Map Developer, you sneaky liar. You will go down in history as the guy who lied. Shame on him. Alright, seriously though. Let's uh let's load up our ender chest with all of these goodies. Very good. Alright, let's get back up. Surprised I didn't make it easier to get back up. I guess I tried to keep the integrity of the original map for nostalgia's sake. But any secret you know here probably has something in it. Um, any secret that you know is normal in this map. There is this right here. This I added in. I think I'm pretty sure. Nope, this is the cake cave. So get your dough. Yeah, okay. How many how many spawners do you have to do? I'm Because this might make another viable area for farming. That's not this. Oh yeah, look at that. And the items will always go in the same spot too. Yeah, they all easily died. So if I want coins, I can always farm them here. Alright, that's good to know. That's good to know. Let's go back down though. Wait, how many spawners though? I needed to check. It's more than... Actually, you know what? Three is probably fine. You know, this is four right here. But the three that I had at pretty close to spawn, that's, that's fine. Okay, I want to check out dough. I wonder if it's better than what I have right now. It's definitely not better in terms of you can break stuff. But... Alright, so this is power 20, sharpness 5, 15 attack damage, 6.4% speed. Smite 3, Bane of Arthur Park. So we're going to try it out. No, it's not as good, because Dante's uh, shovel has 16 attack damage. Oh, but this has sharp damage. Alright, so normally, we're gonna have to test this. Pretty sure spiders are a two hit kill normally. How much with dough? Yeah, there's just a bunch of secrets out here. Can't remember if there's anything this way. No, this leads up back to there, too. Right. So that secret is crossed off my list. Let's see, are there any spiders around that I could test out my thing on? Some creepers. Alright, how many hits? Three at least. Yeah, that's not good. 
I want to be able to kill them much faster than that. But I still want to test. I, I want to make sure. This one has knockback, though. And it has... Oh, does it have looting? Uh, that's bad. I just shovel all the way. Let's put away our dough. That was still pretty good. It probably is compatible with uh, Kevin Cool's fishing rod. Oh, we have our our render distance up really high. It seems to work, which is surprising to me. Honestly, I'm very surprised. Let's go ahead and check out the top of this parkour. I remember doing this parkour when the map. I remember sitting here on this parkour and messaging Hypixel, and actually, I think I spammed Hypixel. Uh, Trying to tell him I was such a big fan. Uh, silly of me, I know. I was really young back then. I was probably around ten. I loved all of the, um, all of his maps. That was that was the biggest thing. Was high pixel maps. I loved them. I was also look for wall servers. I remember looking for wall servers when I was young as well. Because uh, Hypixel didn't have a server quite yet, and so there were a lot of servers that were hosting the walls. Unfortunately, most of them were pretty bad. Um, so that was sad. That was very sad for me. Like they wouldn't start, for instance. What? 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 I did not mean to do that. Okay, whatever. We're good. We're fine. We're safe. One of them I joined, there were hackers, and then another one, it didn't work. Oh boy. There were just all sorts of problems on servers that I took to host walls. Great, great game, though. If I knew how to host a multiplayer, I would have definitely played it. I think I even made a revision to the walls at some point in time. Um, because I was just such a big fan of it. I made it for 1.8.9. Or, sorry, 1.7, and then 1.8 came around and ruined everything. Everybody upgraded to 1.8. Maybe sad. Well, there's nothing over there. Sad. Wait, what? There's nothing over there to get the spawners. I'm calling shenanigans. No, that's true. There's nothing. That I can see. If only I had some dynamite right now. You know, from that one guy. You know, you see these few situations where you're like, man, that would be useful now. That item. Nuts. Usually they don't launch me off. But, well, wherever they are, they're on fire now. Alright, let's get down this tree. So we can get anything that's in here. Alright, there's something down here. Oh, this is just the waterfall. Okay. I thought it was a chest of some sort. Sadly, no. And that goes to the library. And we are not going to explore the library quite yet. That's something we're going to do later on. I want coins. Oh, boy. Glad I could kill him. I want to get that head really badly. <laughs> so I think we're going to get, get that head and then call it a quits for now. And I'm going to go do other stuff today. I do more than just sit around and record myself playing games. How many more coins do we need is the question. I'm guessing we probably have around 150 right now. Actually, never mind. We might actually have 300. Definitely not in here, but... Yeah, we have a lot in here. We have at least 80 in there. And I know we have at least 100 in that other chest. So, let's just go for a little over 100. A little over 100 coins here. Alright, come to me, my zombies. What is this, looting 5 or looting? 
Should we get? Okay, I think we should have enough. I can't see this dopping enough. There we go. I think the max backup to normal speed too. Uh, what is it? Uh, XP uses up a lot of CPU because it's its own entity. Items are also their own entity, but they don't. Their their physics are but a lot more basic than XP. XP is attractive to the player, for instance. Those items to just get picked up in a certain range. All right. And man, we are really fast, actually. This We are faster than uh, when we started out the map, actually. So I'm pretty satisfied with that. Oh, there's hoppers right there, aren't there? There's hoppers in here, too. Oh, they have some barrier blocks in them, though. Oh, we might not have enough. I think we barely have enough, actually. We need 300, right? Yeah, 300 for the heavy. I'm glad it's not too pricey. 300 is a fair price to pay, but it's not too pricey. Alright, how do we get up? Without too much trouble. <laughs> okay, this way. Oh, bummer. Back to square one. So, I'm starting to wonder if levitation is actually making us save time or not. Because sometimes you just end up going down on accident. Okay. It's all lagging right now. It's so laggy because of those items that I produced. I like all the hearts in here. Yeah, see how laggy it is. Where is Rev Capone? I need Rev Capone. Where is he? I'm being serious. Like, he should be there. But he's not. Right. That's very strange. I'm going to actually re-log then. So strange. Alright, we'll try one more time. No rope to pump. Okay. Alright. Give me one moment while I reset Minecraft. <laughs> 